All right, here's where we left off in the previous video. Just to recap, we're talking about site plans. Site plans, uh, it, it's, it shows the property with the bearings, which is uh, the, 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 the length and the angle of the property line. And the site plan will also show the proper, your building and your property, okay? And also your site walks. And then we, we talked about this in the first video, just to recap. And we talked in the second video in, in regards to bearings, bearings, which is they read from north, uh, only from north and south. You can go south, east, southwest, or northeast, northwest. And uh, you have a, a degree, and each degree is cut into 60 segments, which, is, which, are, which are the minutes. And then each minute is cut again into 60 segments, which are the seconds. So again, we talked about the precision of that. Okay, just to, and then, of course, in, in, in regards to your property, uh, how do you know where that length and that degree or bearing go, is going towards? Then you need to refer it, or you need to tie it down to a point in the beginning, which is your POB. And we discuss also about those pins that they're on the property that you need to get them so or they need to find them so you know exactly or they can put the stack there so they stake so they know exactly where the property line is okay so we discuss that just to recap now um i think i'm spending too much time in this video so i'm gonna just touch on brief stuff um and then you have the book in front of you and then you can ask me so i don't want to spend way way too much time i tend to get into it and then you know talking more than what I should. So for this next video, I just want to show you uh, something I didn't, I didn't cover, but I just want to show you how what, what it is. Uh, this Here we're just talking about bearings just for the properties that they're uh, or straight lines, but then you can have some curves or curvatures in some of those um, uh, properties. For example, let me bring this back again. Oh, here it is. No, I'm sorry. This one. See right here how this one has, they're not straight. This one, these are straight, but then you have some curves here. Okay, and for this, there's like a legend somewhere. See, here we go. So for that, for example, this one is what? C6 for that segment. So C6, as you go, there's a bearing, and there's a length, and there's a radius. So it gives you for C6, right? It's it's a, it's a table, and it gives you the length of that arc and, uh, sorry, the, uh, nope, the, where, where are we? Sorry, there you go. Gives you the length and the radius, okay? Length and radius. And so if we go over here. So for, for when this is a curve, and I think there's a picture somewhere here. I think it's in the back here, so here. There you go. If there's, if, similar to what, what we show right now, if you have a, 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 a property that is not, it's in a cul-de-sac, it's not a straight, uh, or they're not, uh, not all the property lines are straight. They have curves. This is how you read them. R stands for radius, so it's going to give you the radius of the arc. Okay. L is for length. What is the length of that arc? Okay. And then delta. Now, I'm not going to go too much in depth. Uh, you, when you get into civil, they go very, very in depth. I just want to show you how to read them and how to, what does that mean. So, again, the R is the radius of an arch or an arc. The uh, L, it's the length, and then the delta, it's the degree of that. And I'll just touch briefly. Let me go over here. There we go. So, okay, recap. This is the length of the arc right there, and this is broken into three arch arches, arches. This is uh, the length of this first one from this point to that point is 48.39 feet. From this point to that one is 68.92, and for this point to that point is 22. Point, this is uh, 78 feet. This are this is the length of the arc, and then the 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 curvature, it's the radius is 50 feet. So this right here is 50 feet in radius. All right. So that's what L means. That's what R means. So you want to do a curve, or there's a curve there. You see an R, that means radius. You see an L, that's the length of that given arch. So this one is broken into three, and then it gives you the overall, which is uh, 140.09 feet from here all the way over here. Okay, and we're talking about this line, this curve, right? That curve. Now these are dimensions, so don't look. They're there just to show you the the length of that. So that's the length of that curve right there. Um, now this one delta, and again, I'll briefly, I'm not an expert on on, on civil. There's other, other professors there; they're gonna go more in depth. But the delta is a degree 
of it, okay? So they put certain dots there to create this curve, or not dots, but points to actually create that curve. And this is your degree of this curve, okay? The way uh, that you can, I guess, see this, imagine that from this point to that point, you 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 uh, take your your um, take a line straight to where the base of that radius was. Okay, remember this point, the center. See right there. Okay, now it's right here, but without that leader or that dimension. So you take a line from this point to that point. You take a line from this point to that point, and that creates uh, like a triangle shape, right? If you connect this point to this marker and then to that point and then back it creates a triangle right, you can imagine that but now you look where this line coming down to this point and this line coming down to that point wherever they meet they're gonna create like a V shape right line going straight line coming straight uh, is there a there we go is this work highlight I want to see if I can write on this thing. Will this work? No, it's a selector. Never mind. Okay, so imagine there's a line right here and a line coming down like that. These lines are going to meet at that point, and then the degree between those two lines, that's what it means, that what delta means. Okay, so that's the degree. So for, for example, this one, if there's a line coming down, down from the, to this point, a line coming down to this point, and then those two lines create an angle, and that's delta. Again, here, a line coming this way, a line coming that way. They meet at this point, and then the angle that those two lines create, that's delta. On a nutshell, and there's a lot more. I'm just going to show you how to read it. Okay, I'm just, I'm just showing you, see, and telling you what does that mean, what does L mean, what does R mean, what does delta mean. Okay, and those you need, again, in piece of land or property that have curvature. Okay, now you know what, what they mean. All right. For example, this one here, this section there, that part there, this it has a, a liter. Uh, radius 50, length 22.78 feet, and then delta for only this section right here is 28 degrees. Okay. It comes in, that's 28 degrees. Okay. So just uh, to show you what is it that, what it, what, what it is. Okay, we're not going to go too much in depth. Uh, the other sections, I'm not going to go over this. You can read on. It's just basically how, how everything's cut from, uh, um, not cut, but divided, I guess, uh, from the, you want to see that we're, we're in the United States, right? So from the country or the world, how it's, it starts to be cut in, cut in, cut in, cut in, until you get to a piece of land or piece of property. So it goes here on, on talks about acreage, talks about, uh, uh, you know, square miles blah blah you can, you can read that on your own i'm not gonna go into that uh, we're gonna go into topography okay topography uh or topo topography it just uh, shows you the condition uh the property in regards to different heights and elevation on the property okay for us here in the valley everything's flat um it's a valley right but if you start going to maybe up north or different uh, areas where you start having hills, then that shows you, or it shows you on the on the on the site plan or uh, plot if you if you have nothing no structures there, what's the condition of the of the, of the ground? Do you have hills? Is it uh, is is there like a a hole in the middle or not a hole? But is it sinking in, or is there a here a hill in your property? And those you can see them. On your topography uh, plan, or on or doing topography, and with those are contour lines. Now, if you haven't heard about this or seen this, let me show you this first, and this hopefully will make a lot more sense. Okay, this is a Hoover Dam. I went here, and I got it because uh, I went here in the summer. I got the opportunity to go. So. If you guys, any, any, uh, any, if you go on, I went to Google Maps, right? And if you go to an area where there's a lot of hills, and I guess all of us are familiar with this. If you go to the satellite and look down, just by seeing all these different, um, 
uh, shadows and 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 and, and different uh, lines that are created, we understand that there's something there's something going on on the ground. For example, if everything was like this, just flat with nothing uh, changing on the surface, we can assume this is flat. Now it could be sloping, but we we assume this is flat. There's nothing uh, going up or, or extruding from the ground. If we start seeing this, right, we know that there's something going on there. There's probably, uh, and then again here by the shadows, we know that it's some. The, the, this are hills, right? Or uh, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, hills. So they're they're going up in elevation on a given area. Okay, and we know this. If, if I show you this, if, if you go on, on Google, and for example, you go to this section, you know, okay, this is flat, this, I'm, I'm walking here, I'm driving my my uh, my Jeep, because it's the sand, and uh, once I hit here, well, I can't continue because of this are hills. Yeah, common sense tells you that just by seeing it, right? Just by seeing it. So this idea, also, we have to show it, or 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 that's what basically uh, topo is, the condition of the ground. If it's flat, if it's coming up, or if it's sloping down, okay, uh, uh, and that's that's how you read the, the the topo drawings, or that's the idea behind the topo drawings. Okay, I just heard you that because it's something that I guess all of us can relate. So, uh, talking about contour lines, let me show you now this. Okay, hopefully you have seen something like this. If you go to plants and you see just a bunch of lines, you could probably see it in maps too, a bunch of the squiggly lines with numbers on them. Okay, so a lot of squiggly lines with numbers on them, like this, like that. Uh, not a face, of course, like that. Okay, that's a, a, a topo drawing. It shows you the condition of the ground, and then which a bunch of lines, which tells you when the surface is changing elevations okay so like i show you on the on this one let me bring it back if i show you a contour line of this it's going to be flat there's going to be not a bunch of lines but if I, we do it on this one each one of these zoom in each one of these areas is going to have a contour line why because it's, it's changing the elevation of that part of that land okay you're going up or either you're going down you're not it's not just flat Something's going on there. So each, when it starts changing on elevation, it creates those contour lines, which are these, okay? Now, a way of seeing it, here is showing it the way it is, that we see it on paper, and then here, what it really means. So here, it's easier to understand. Again, that's more or less what we're looking at at the Hoover Dam, right? You have hills and you have stuff like that, or canyons. Uh, Whenever it changes in elevation, it creates a contour. Okay, so for example, this one, it's going up. So it's steady and then it creates a contour. Uh, actually, you can be a lot more precise. It depends on, on uh, I guess, on the way, the precision that you want. And again, when you take topo, even civil, you're going to cover this. But just in a nutshell, it shows you the condition of the property so if i see this right here and i see a bunch of squiggly lines and i see numbers now how do i know it's it's going up in elevation because of the numbers it's going from 10 20 30 40 so that's telling me that I'm, it's pulling up if this is zero 10 going up that's a contour line 20 that's a contour line which is this one 30 that's a contour line 40 that's a contour line and then this is the highest peak so everything on the 10 line is the same elevation. Anything on the 20 line is the same elevation, so it's pulling up. And the 30 line is the same elevation, which is pulling up, and so on and so forth. So just by the contour lines you have here, and by the numbers, I know that there's a hill that is pulling up. Okay. Now, if this were going the opposite, if this was 40, 30, 20, and 10, then instead of going up, this were go will be going down. Like if it's a uh, I don't know, it's a pit or I don't know, I don't even know how to call it, but it's sinking in. Okay, so if the numbers are going up, then it's a hill. If the numbers are going down, then it's 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 going it's dropping.
okay? And a nutshell, those are the, your cron tunnel lines. Now, let me show you some, oops, where I look, where I leave it? Don't tell me I closed it. Uh, close this, and close this, no, here it is, okay. Let me show you now, actually, we should be looking at, let's look at this first, see? Now we're looking at contour lines, and they're very important because this is why do you want to know what the condition in regards to height? Again, it will affect the design. If there's a, you have a property, and then and the back it's it's higher than the front, so your design has to you know um, uh, uh, you have to change the design to adequate your your building to that piece of property. Maybe you have to put a. a um, a, Retaining walls to retain the water or uh, if, if, if slides or you know depends on code also But you need to know the condition of your property. So in this case and this is in the book we have our The length and our bearings here, right? And then for each uh, on every corner of this property it has the elevation on that particular area So for example here in the back the elevation it's 100 feet and this is above sea level, if I'm not mistaken. And then you see these lines here, they're showing contour lines. And then once they get to this one, it's 105. And it keeps on going. And when it goes, gets to this one, it's 110. And it keeps on going. And it gets to this one, it's 115. And then here at this point is 118. And this one is 111 and 2. So if you use your imagination, what we can see here is that if this is the back of the property, right? If we, if we say this is the back of the property, it's going, uh, it's put, it's, it, if this is the front, if we're standing here, we're, we're standing in the top of the, of a, I guess in a higher elevation than this one. So we're looking down, okay? It, it's sloping down, in other words, just by seeing those contour lines. Just by seeing them, we know that this property or the land is, this is the highest point and it's going down that way. This one, the elevation is one, uh, 18 this one is 110 so we know that from this point to that point there's an elevation difference of 18 feet so that's kind of steep so imagine you, you're building a property here or your your property keep on saying property you're going to build your your uh your uh, structure here your building so that that's a kind of big steep from 118 18 feet difference from here to here okay and it's not even that long it's one it's uh, 112 so it's not even that long so that means that this is kind of steep so you have to take that into consideration you put it in or you do your design so it adequates this the condition of your property so these are your contour lines okay now if the lines are closer together again we see it here there you go if the lines are closer together that means it's steep if the lines are far apart it's sloping down, it's a gentle slope. So for example, let's look at this one. Uh, here is 200 and this is 260. So it's kind of, a, it's not as, as steep. See that the distance from here to here? So imagine you're walking and you, when you're gonna get to 200 feet, from 200 feet to 260, it's gonna take you a while to get there. So the steep is pretty gentle. But if you're here and let's say this is 200, this line right here, and this one is 260, you're gonna be doing a lot of climbing because it's very steep. It's going up in elevation at a very steep or or, or and not too much of a of, a, of length. So it means it's going up pretty pretty rapidly. So uh, and again, let me oh, I closed it. Okay, it's fine. So this this are your contour lines. So they told you it tells you the condition of the of the property in regards to elevation. Now why is it important? Because you need to know. Is it uh, is it flat? Is it something ongoing there? Is there uh, do I have to take out dirt, put in dirt? Do I have to put a a, 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 a retaining wall in case when it rains? Is it by, is it needed by code? So all those things you're gonna need to know, and again that you know with the topo drawings and with these contour lines. So the numbers tell you the elevation. So if the numbers are going up. That means this is higher than that one. If the lines are closer together, it's very steep. If they're far from each other, it's the slope is going a little bit slower. Okay. Now let me. I'll finish this video with this 
drawing that I found online just to show you that I found this online I don't even know uh, I just search and I found this this one is a, si a site plan it shows the property it seems like it's two lots we see one here right there and then we see another one right here all right and then we see those contour lines okay so whoever's designing this it's it's a, it, we know it's an uneven piece of land at the back it's uh here i think it's a yeah this is 140 and then in the, in the, in the this is a house right proposed um single family yes so here at let's say at the entrance it's uh let's see in this area it's 80 and this one is 140 so you know it's 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 uh it's uh it's going up it's a hill so this house it's in a hill now if we didn't know about the control lines if we didn't know that, that somebody called you from north and tell you uh, i want you to design my house and you don't know the condition of the property then this that you're drawing is is it won't work why because you need to take into account the way the property how the how this lot uh, is sloping down from the back. So you have to provide those conditions, okay? So what are they doing here, for example, they're telling us that, uh, uh, so it's a roof deck. No, yeah, so they're giving some elevation markers here of how, how uh, uh, the, uh, the finished floor for those, where they should be at. So they're gonna be 104, 104. If this is 80, this is 90, that means that they have to pull this up somehow to have it at 104. And this one they're probably gonna have to cut to put it at 104 because in the back is 110. Okay, so that's when you start getting into now working with the property and the, and, and the, and the area. For example, here you also see it, 84 when you for the carport. And this, these are called the elevation markers in regards to height. Now, how do you know it's going down? When one, you can see it here, two, when you're driving in or out, this is 84, this is at 80, so it's telling you that from this point to this point, this is a four, point, four feet difference, so that means that it's sloping down. And then here it tells you drive, driveway slope varies at approximately 20%, so it's going to be going down like that. Or if you're driving in, it's going to be going high, going up. Why? Because that's how the property is set. How do I know that? Because I have the contour line saying that it's going from 60, 70, 80, 90, so it's pulling up. So I, this a uh, lot it's in a hill now again if you didn't have those these contour lines you wouldn't know that you wouldn't know how to put the driveway okay so it, it will not work so this is the importance of knowing and that's how you know with these contour lines you know where is uh, where's the, how what's the condition of the property is it going up is it going down is it making any 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 uh, differences that i need to take into account so I can plan for that in my design process. Okay, I'll stop it right there. And then uh, hopefully with the next video, we'll finish uh, the chapter.